Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the second problem on the quiz. In this problem, we're given that the moment generating function of a random variable x is given by m of t is the exponential of 3t plus 8t squared. We're asked to find the variance of x. So we recall that the variance of x is the expected value of x squared, the second moment of x, minus the expected value of x quantity squared. We also know that the moment generating function, m t, written in this form, the sum n goes from 0 to infinity in Maclaurin expansion, m n of 0 over n factorial t to the n, gives the moments of x. Because by definition, the moment jittering function is the exponential of t times x, the expected value of this expression. And so what that will be is that is going to be the expected value of the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of t to the n, x to the n over n factorial. And this becomes the expected value of the sum from 0 to infinity. Of t to the n over n factorial, the expected value of x to the n. Comparing, comparing these expressions, we see that the nth derivative of m at the origin is exactly equal to the expected value of x to the n. And so in particular, what we can do is we can use our formulation and compute derivatives of this. So I need the first derivative and the second derivative. So let's do it. So m prime of t is the exponential of 8t of 3t. So it's the exponential of 3t plus 8t squared. And then by the chain rule, this will be 3 plus 16t. And so in particular, what this tells me is this tells me if I plug in m prime of 0, this will be the exponential of 0, which is 1. And this will give me a 3 plus 16 times 0. So m prime of 0 is equal to 3. And that tells us that this term right here is 3. And 3 squared will be 9. Now we compute the second derivative. So m double prime of t is the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first. So that would be the exponential of 3t plus 8t squared times this quantity squared, 3 plus 16t quantity squared. And so if we plug in 0 to this, m double prime of 0, we'll get a 16 over here and then a 9 over here. So this will be 16 plus 9 or 25. So the second moment of x is 25. So our variance will be 25 minus 3 squared. So that's 25 minus 9, and 25 minus 9 is 16, and that is the variance of this random variable x. We can also notice that this happens to be the moment generating function for a normal random variable whose mean is 3 and whose standard deviation is going to be the square root of 8, because this term over here for a normal, so if we have an n mu sigma squared random variable, then it's mgf, m of t, will be the exponential of mu t plus sigma squared over 2t squared. And so that is a useful formula to remember since moments of normal random variables appear in a lot of different problems. Thank you very much.